What is up, everybody? Circle Flex here, taking a look at day 11 for the Athen calendar. And today's tank is the KV5. Uh, kind of like a legend kind of kind of tank. Always kind of overhyped because of all the cool replays you can do with it. Um, in reality, though, not the greatest tank. Um, let's take a look here. The U Shop first. It's obviously on sale everywhere, and uh, it's for sale separately. That doesn't happen too often, actually. It's so separately in the name. Uh, let's see if it's sold separately here as well. And then EU should have it as well, but it doesn't. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> let's see. Is it seriously enough for sale separately on EU? That's amazing. What the fuck? Are you serious? So, on EU, you're fucked. You can only buy it for 40 euros. Absolutely not worth it. Uh, let's see here. Separately. Must be on separately. What the fuck? Well, only NA can buy it separately? $34? Am I going insane? Wait. 46, I don't know, Asia also seems to be fucked. So, I don't know why it differs. That's so weird. All the previous bundles were all kind of like the same. But every once in a while we just have a tank that is only sold with a bundle. That's uh, kind of retarded. <laughs> you ask me. Yeah, there's nothing here. Wow. Oh, the tier 7s are 30% uh, are off. If you bought it by the SU, now is the choice, now is the chance. Uh, like I talked about in, an, uh, in another advent calendar for the Type 64, stuff like that. These are all pretty good purchases. Uh, don't buy it from the store though. If you have the in-game gold, they, you can buy these from the tech tree. And then it will be 30% off. The reason why it's 27 or 26 is because the the garage slot is included and that's not discounted. That's full price. I think that's the case anyway. Uh, so KB5, it's worth it. Uh, not really. <laughs> not anymore, for sure. Not anymore. Uh, it does have limited matchmaking, but it still has the 167 pen base pen. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or played the game at all, but a lot of people are getting more armor. <laughs> and 167 is just not going to cut it. The 219 is also really bad for the premium ammo. Um, because it's also 107. See, the IS-6. The IS-6 also has 270, 217 pen, but it's a 122 mil, so you can overmatch a lot more. Um... And then the 112 and everything, also limited matchmaking, is 250 and 175. And 175 and 250. The only reason these guys get 250 is because it's heat. And the i6 is APCR. Now, for that price, and especially if you can't, cannot buy it unbundled like an A can, $34. I mean, that's just so much money. Um, especially because, and well, let me guess that an A probably has, has some still for sale or something. Uh, is that a lot of the new premiums that are really, really fucking good, slash, like, overpowered, like the Patriot and the Liberté. They might just be out of sale now, but they were on sale for a long time. Um, they were the price of that KB5. <laughs> so, especially the Patriot was, I think, like, 34 euros or something. Something along those lines. So, overall, uh, not worth it at all. I did get buffed in the armor department. Um, like, uh... A while ago, just to keep it up uh, with the rest of the tanks, basically. But uh, if you look at the armor, it's still, you know, the turret got buffed. I think the science got buffed and stuff like that. So the turret is not half bad now, but the glaring weak spot is still a weak spot. And uh, this is no, it's still a weak spot for a lot of guns, but less now. It used to be just as paper as this one. Um. So yeah, it's still still not worth it. It's just. It's just one giant meme. The reason why everybody knows the game 5 is because the epic ramming damage. But that almost never happens. Because, yeah, you can reach, uh, you know, that's a tough speed again. That You can reach 40 with a really heavy tank. Uh, but, you know, you powered away to shit, through resistances, all that shit. So it's not really a ramming machine like any 50M or anything. If it was, that'd be kind of cool. If it would get really good power to weight as a buff, I would love that. Just buff only the speed, that would be really cool. But in the current condition, and especially if you're an EU or Asia, we can only buy bundles. I don't think it's worth it at all. You can better spend your money somewhere else on discounted regulatory rates. 
or stuff like that. So only real tank collectors should probably get it, or people that are like, oh, I always wanted a KB-5. Then yeah, you should probably just get it, because, well, you're gonna be miserable, but at least you got it. <laughs> I guess. But uh, no, I can't really say I can, um, I can recommend this tank. Uh, what I can recommend, though, on EU at least, is that the tier 7s and 6s are 30% uh, off. And things like an SU-122 and the Type 64 are definitely worth picking up there. Anyway, this was day 11 where we got the KV-5. Hope you guys enjoyed this little series of Advent Calendar Days. I'll catch you guys in the next one tomorrow, day 12. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to, uh, you know, subscribe. Maybe watch more videos that are not Advent Calendar related. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.